What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Before we hop into things, I'm gonna go over what worked, uh, what helped us catch our fish here today. So first thing in the morning, you know, this is the fall transition. The water temps was in the low 60s there. So, you know, the fish are schooling up on bait, getting ready for winter. We picked up the uh, Evergreen Shower Blow here. This is the bigger model, the 125. It's a three treble hook bait, you see. It's, it's fairly big, not too big of a top water, but we was casting it around and we got some blow ups and it seemed like the fish wasn't really committing to it. So what we done was we switched over here to the 77.7 model and it's only a two treble hook bait, very light as well. I'm throwing it on a uh, Dobbin Sierra BFS rod. It's a zero power with a Cast King Kestrel BFS reel on light line uh, to be able to sling this thing. But you know, it's not always uh, about the color changing that will make the fish commit to things sometimes it's just the size and the presentation of the bait that you're throwing because you see here they're the same exact color but we had fish committing more to this size which is closer to the bait fish that we have in the lake than we did this size and we threw a couple more things around throughout the day i'll go over real quick too we caught fish on uh, the ned rig here as well as the ball head jig you know these both kind of imitate crawfish i'll catch a fish on it all the way down low 50 degree water temps dragging it along the bottom you know around some rocks and stuff is a great way to catch fish we caught some on uh some crankbaits square bills and stuff you, you'll see dad catch a good one on that we also threw around you know a little kitek this is a 2.8 inch kitek on a little ball head i also threw around the glide some you know this is river c river to sea s waiver but you know they would follow these two a lot and they wouldn't really commit to it they would react to the crankbait and they ate the net and the jig pretty good but top water is what seemed to really work for us today and get us our bites and things so uh, stay tuned for this video guys and hopefully you enjoy and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already first fish easy that's a keeper <laughs> You're in the second. Oh well. He's big. Uh, he is a keeper. I think it is. It looks pretty good. I got that. And they're just eating at it weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, I'll be close. I think it's 15. I don't know. I'm a 14, 7, 8. Fisherman. 14 and 7, 8. In. I'm throwing that long tail. I got that long. <laughs> there we go. That long. 15. That end went not touch it. That end's a quarter inch longer. Yeah. I'm gonna downsize to the smaller one too, because they're they're hitting it weird, ain't they? Just I didn't have the camera on yet. I'm gonna go with the BFS set up. Oh, got him. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's doing mine real slow and barely moving it. I ain't even trying to really splash. What's it? Catch him right there. That's like... <sighs> yeah, that's. That's guy right here be dragging a deer out there any second. Probably. Probably one of the ones that shot. You know? Probably. Seven foot where the boat's at. Seven foot where the boat's at. Seven foot. This is ten foot. Got one? Oh my god. Oh, that was good. Yes! Yes! Oh 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> that ain't no good. It jumps out of the water as a three pound small. What's coming at me? <sighs> Dad, you're coming in close today. Got the jumpy jumped. Oh, is that 18? 17. 17 and a half. Yeah. He's fat too. Yeah. Feeding him. That, that'll add to her. our weight, dude. Straight at this thing. Got him. I don't think he's a good. He might be running at me. I don't think he's good. Oh, just a little he's spot. We did catch one off the point though. Oh, I'm asking for a hook in my hand. I wonder if that was the same one. No, I was a little bit farther back. I don't know if that would have been a spot on mine. He wouldn't have missed it. We'll say again. I love catching them things. I wish our lake produced bigger ones. I like to go to a lake that has like five pound spots. That'd be fun to catch them, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Mm. The 63 water temps, they should be eating these crawfish. Oh. Oh, he had it. He's the weight, I felt him hit it and he was holding on to it. <laughs> That's why I waited a second, make sure he had it. That bass just scattered that ball a bit. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Good. Thought he was. I don't know if he is or not. No. That's why I didn't get him the first time. Oh, hey, that's a two. I thought he was a three pounder. That's all right, though. We're catching fish. We're doing the right thing. I got the dye on them. Look at that hole. I just pulled it out of the water. It'll leave a trail. <laughs> yeah. Oral. What are you thinking? I can't get them, huh? Right there. Oh, oh. Easy. Yeah, I think it's a 12. Yep. Pretty close. He's actually a pretty good one. For a spot, he's fat anyway. Yeah. I mean, if we complete the, the three fish limit with him, it'll be all right. We'll just call him. It's weird. Every fi fish we caught on this little thing, we got them to blow up three or four times on it, haven't we? They keep coming after it. Yeah, they. I just keep fishing it though. That's, that's why I'm not trying to set the hook. I'm just fishing until he gets. But it. that's still unusual though. You know, seems like after they blow up one time, sorry, that they usually turn off on it. Lower down, a little Jesse. Gosh. Get him, man. Easy, easy. Go slow. That was a good one right there. That was a good one. <laughs> Just, oh, antsy. 
That's a that was a big small mouth. That's what that was. Got him. Good. I can't tell. Uh, yeah, decent one. He feels good on this BFS rod and reel, though. Other side, other side, other side. Oh, well, he switched side. He switched sides on. It's nah. A little skinny filler. Huh? The pattern is what it is. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. Oh, that's real and real. I think we just need to go back and fish the Ned rig up it. Just, just caught us another smallmouth here to cool the spot. Camera wasn't working. Been having a lot of issues out of them. What? 15 trips. But, whew, we was also hollering and going on, so. Yeah, we was fish crapping. Yeah, we was, uh, we was uh, shouting and praising the Lord and everything. The hope was. I'm, we was just talking that's about that's a 16, 16 almost 17 that's good we was uh just talking about how the bot window was gone everything getting discouraged and then boom set the hook throwing a little ned rig now on these rocks just happy to be in the live well man i wish i got that on video though Yeah. Thank you. My back's broke. Just lay down and fish now. <laughs> Hang your feet off in the water. It's it's November November fourth. Water temps are still sixty two degrees and I'm out here in a t shirt. <laughs> oh this East Tennessee weather is just hilarious. It, Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, at least we it's you know caught them most of the day today. It wasn't one of those dud days. All right, let's head to weigh in.